Hi there, my little demons and divas. Bienvenidos. Welcome back to my channel. It is I, me, yo, your girl, Isa, aka the Demon Diva. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at NYC Demon Diva. Before I do anything, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. You guys know who I'm talking about. Ah! Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. All right. I am here to give you guys my thoughts about payback. Surprisingly, it was better than I thought. I mean, you gotta admit it, it was decent. <laughs> ah, and he had a one week build up. What? <sighs> All right, before I get started, going over the matches in the car, what I thought in my rating system, because we're gonna start a new rating system. I just wanna make sure that you guys please subscribe. If you can, hit the notification bell so you can get notifications every time I get a new video, like when I upload a video, because I just randomly upload, you know, I don't have a schedule here. And um, if you can share, like, just help. It helps a lot with the growth of the channel. We have been growing a lot in the past couple of months and I've been putting more content for you guys. So thank you so much. But listen, let's talk about it. And here's what we're gonna do. If we like a match, we're gonna give it a Walter Mercado. All right, mucho, mucho more. If we do not like a match, we're gonna give it last call. You know, when you're having a good time and then they call last call and they just kill the vibe, okay? We gotta find something for like in the middle. We'll figure it out, okay? So, but that's it, that's the rating. We're not gonna have an in the middle rating. We liked it or we didn't, okay? And if we, if, if, and, and we'll share our feelings about it. I'll share them with you. You guys share them in the comment. We're gonna have a conversation here. Let's get started. On the pre-show, you know what? No, 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 before I get started, we're gonna give last call because I have to tell you the story. Last call to the Thunderdome stream last night. That entire experience was basura, trash. It was so bad, it ruined my reaction, which I probably won't even upload because I don't have a good reaction to when Roman won. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. Like there was no reactions, there was no smooth stream at any time. And when the stream was working, we didn't have sound. So when Roman actually won, we figured out once we saw the reactions because we couldn't hear and then the TV was on, but the delay is so extreme because you know, you're like 10 seconds ahead on the Thunderdome. It was just a mess. Thunderdome, girl, get it together. Maybe you, you might have been having a moment last night. We all do it's that time of the month, Thunderdome. I don't know, maybe it was Thunder down under. I don't know. Get it together, girl, because I am pro Thunderdome, 1000%. But last night, I had to go back and rewatch a lot of matches to be able to talk about um, payback today. So Thunderdome, girl, girl, please. Um, all right, so Thunderdome gets last call. No, no, no. Thunderdome stream last night gets you getting kicked out of the bar because it already closed and they don't want you there. In the pre-show, we had the Iconics against the Riot Squad. They gave these girls nine minutes in the pre-show, which is not bad. And I gotta say, mucho, mucho amor for this match. We're gonna give it a nice little Walter Mercado with his gold little cape because I liked it. Listen, the tag team division might be changing. We might finally be some ch seeing some changes upon us. We need to build some competition, number one. Number two, we can reunite the Riot Squad to lose. The Iconics can afford their loss. Riot Squad, brand new, coming back together. We need to build them again strong. So yeah, Walter Mercado, I like that. We'll see where they go with this. I don't need them fighting anymore though. I don't need them fighting anymore. Like it's, it's, it's getting to New Day Uso category, okay? Um, to open up the show, Bobby Lashley defeated Apollo Crews and now we have a new United States champion. And you know what? <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this because I don't know that we gave Apollo, Apollo Cruz a fair chance as our United States champion. He only feuded with the Hurt Business, MVP and then Bobby Lashley. At the same time, Bobby Lashley is a huge name, huge credibility. And if you really want to establish the Hurt Business as something, as a faction that we should be worried about, you have to put a title that means something in there. So I'm 50-50 on this. I'm like, maybe it's last call. So you go outside, but then you start watching Walter Mercado YouTube videos on your phone. That's how I feel about this one. Okay, like, okay, I can, I wanna see where it goes. But first of all, what the fuck was with the selfies and the filter and the cameras when they won? That was, that was a little weird. 
I told them to do it for everybody, but they didn't. And I was like, okay, what the fuck was that? Um, I'm gonna start doing it on my. I'm gonna start like posting in the middle of my videos, and then like putting. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> no, no, but I didn't know what. I don't know what that was all about. But then Apollo Cruz attacked them, and he was like, I'm gonna get my title back, and I was like, no, 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 <laughs> no. Um, after that, we have Biggie defeated Sheamus, and this is listen. This is middle of the pack. We're definitely gonna have to find a middle rating because I'm happy for Biggie. We have to build a credible baby face to go against our new super heel Universal Champion. Uh, but I don't feel like Sheamus does anything for to like. Oh my God, I'm so impressed. Look at all the people you've beaten. Um, you know, like when we build Kofi Kingston organically, he was beating fucking Daniel Bryan in insane matches. Sheamus, uh, he just lost to Jeff Hardy. You know what I mean? I mean, again, Jeff Hardy is Intercontinental Champion, but you get what I'm saying. But on the other end of the of the spectacle, we have Big E being built as a superstar. I just don't need... There was a couple of times there where it looked like Big E, like, they were trying to make Big E look like an underdog. There is no such thing as an underdog in that match. So these are two huge guys. Like, they don't. there's no underdog. Okay, so let Biggie just come out there and fuck shit up and say, I deserve this. Give it to me. Um, but yeah, good for Biggie building that resume. We'll see where they go with this. Hopefully, they don't fuck this up in that draft and send him somewhere else or some shit like that. Matt Riddle defeated King Corbin. Again, um, it feels like the storyline has been going on since the Royal Rumble. And believe it or not, this is actually their first match. So it's like funny because they have been like going at it for so long now that I thought they have fought, but they hadn't. But that being said, I don't need to see a rematch. I don't need to see these two involved with each other. It does nothing for me. It was probably a little bit distasteful that they added some real life shit into it earlier yesterday. And it just like completely, I was already kind of like, ew, by this few like over it. And then that just completely, I just didn't care for that. Um, but then Matt Riddle goes backstage and King Corbin attacks him, suggesting that this is going to continue. I don't need to see it. I honestly don't need to see it. Uh, the match was good. I, I I don't mind Baron Corbin. It just doesn't feel like a feud with him does anything for anybody. Does that make sense? You know, every time like somebody goes to feud with Baron Corbin, they don't come out looking any better. So what what what's missing, and, and how do we fix it? Because he's talented. Um. Oh my God. Walter Mercado in his Puerto Rico cape to the finish of the women's tag team title match, which was Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax against Sasha Banks and Bayley. And guys, oh my God. Shayna Baszler is that bitch. That was amazing. It was amazing. She fucking submitted both of them. What? Like, what? <laughs> I don't like Nia Jax, so I was... And, and I don't want... I don't know. I don't want the imminent breakup of Sasha and Bayley because I just think they're better together. I feel like if I want to watch an amazing match between Sasha and Bailey, that's what I subscribe to the network for. I like them together. But at the same time, like I know that this is going to erupt into five star matches and it's going to be great. Um, but you guys know that they're just add so much to each other. But now we have Sasha, no belts and Bailey one belt. So we'll see where this goes. As far as Nan and Shayna goes, they're not best friends. So <laughs> let's see how... Are they going to build up and really become a credible tag team? And, or are they just going to fall apart because they can't get along? Also, I just want to give a super special shout out to Nia Jax for wearing Tamina's shirt. I was here for that. I loved it. Um, Walter Mercado. I said it. Walter Mercado, Walter Mercado. Mucho, mucho amor y paz y todo for Shayna Baszler. Um, all right. Keith Lee defeated Randy Orton. And I think it's amazing for Keith Lee as a Randy Orton fan and he's in a title picture and he just did so much to build his character up. I don't feel so good about it, but I understand that Randy is in that position now. And I'm just having a hard time accepting it. I'm, I'm having a hard time accepting that Randy Orton has been here for a while. He is the veteran and he's here to build guys like Keith Lee up. So, I mean, that was amazing. It was in six minutes, bro. And maybe this adds Keith Lee to the title picture. I don't know, you know, but as a Randy Orton fan, it was a weird, like, it was a weird realization. And I was happy for Keith Lee. He deserves everything. But I just, like, really wanted this feud to happen a little later down the road. Unless we're going to add Keith Lee to that title picture, it just feel like 
I don't care Randy taking the loss to Keith Lee. I just wish that we could have not taken it in the middle of it all. But I did read somewhere on Twitter that Drew McIntyre has a fractured jaw, which is what I told you guys last week. I suspected something odd was going on there. So it's a great feud. And Keith Lee, like people that were doubting or saying that his debut last week was bad, listen, they got big plans for him, obviously. Oh my God, the Mysterious finally. <laughs> Mysterious finally did it. Ah, they beat the Messiah. Yay. They beat Murphy. Yay. But there was a little bit of tension between Seth and Murphy last night. But I think we're already getting Seth and Ray again tonight. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Uh, um, they, These guys are never going to put on a bad match. I'm just over it. And then they gave him 16 fucking minutes. Like, really? But... It was good. It was good. The more I see Dominic in the ring, though, the more you can see a little bit of some of the things that he could improve on. But it doesn't matter. They put on a good match. It was a little bit of tension between everybody. Great. But I'm just over it. Like, I'm ready for Seth to move on to something else. And the Mysterious as well. But, of course, they put on a good match. But this is last call. Like, I, I need you guys to call last call on this field. Por favor. I'm begging you. And last but not least, the main event. All right. So, like I said, I didn't have any sound. So, okay. So, a few guys know the thing comes out. Catching flies. Wave up. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Great. Lights are on. Super cool entrance. I'm, like, flashing my fucking phone in my living room. Next thing you know, the lights comes on. And Braun, credits to you all guests are attacking right then and there. But then they ring the bell. And that's when I lose the sound. Why they ring the bell? Where the fuck is Roman Reigns? Where the fuck is Roman Reigns? Where the fuck is Roman Reigns? And these dudes are going out and beating the fuck out of each other, breaking the ring, and I'm just like, where the fuck is Roman Reigns? I haven't even seen wrestling this long. I'm watching this paper before Roman Reigns. And after these guys have beat the shit out of each other, broke the ring, they were going at it so hard, out comes Roman Reigns, signs the contract on the ramp, full-blown heel, comes down, tries to pin them. Oh, but they don't give up. So he grabs the chair, Beats them up and new Universal Champion, the title that he never lost. I have, we are, uh, I have mixed feelings about it because he mentioned that on Friday. And it's like, okay, but if you're a heel, when he talks about how he never lost that title, it takes you back to probably one of the biggest, most realest moments in wrestling where he was like full blown baby face because, you know, we, he had to relinquish it. Um, but everything that he did last night felt very, very, very heel. It's like, if you had any question about it, that's it. Because the Roman Reigns that I know would have fought hard. He would have not came in and just done that. Waited for them to beat each other up to then coming and get the easy win. That's also smart. That was a smart move on his end. But now we have a new Universal Champion. And you know that gets all the water mercados, all the pennies dropped, big dick energy all the way. Roman Reigns is our new champion. And I hope, I hope that Roman Reigns has a big, long title reign. <laughs> Walter Mercado for you, Roman Reigns. Mucho, mucho amor, papi chulo. Mwah. That's it. That was it. That was a, it was short, sweet, simple, to the point. Boom, here it is. Boom, it's over. Boom, three champs, three new champs. Like, listen, payback, all right? Other than your your girl, the Thunderdome, like, she needs to get her shit together. But I decided that payback was much better than I thought. I just wish I wouldn't have to have to go back to rewatch a lot of it because of my Thunderdome stream. My Thunderdome stream experience, but I saw that I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good show. So, what did you guys think of the Thunderdome? What was your favorite moment? Um, how do you feel about Roman Reigns? Everything that he did last night? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, adios. Mwah. Yeah, demon diva, quite the screamer, cursing teja, hurting please ya, spot her out in any of y'all arena, break the meter, get way too yeah. excited, watch her boot up, yeah. if the lady good, she get lady wood yeah. until you know who yeah. we can yeah. boot up, yeah. I get a girl that's a low, wrestling down at the rope.